Volcanoes are some of the most awe-inspiring geological formations on Earth. Despite our best efforts to understand them, they continue to surprise us with their power and unpredictability. The more we uncover about volcanoes, the more we begin to understand how little we know about them and how little we can control them. They have been around for billions of years, and new discoveries about them are being made all the time. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be discussing three recent discoveries related to volcanoes. Kilaui Volcano Bubble and Volcanic Activity The Hawaiian volcano Kilaui is the youngest and most active volcano in Hawaii and has been attracting attention for its recent activity that has been going on for years, and it does not show any signs of slowing down. In 2018, Kilaui had a major eruption that caused an evacuation by thousands of residents of the Big Island. Not lacking in power, the eruption unfortunately caused the destruction of over 700 buildings. In December of 2020, another eruption occurred in Kilaui that lasted for five months. According to the Associated Press, Kilaui released enough lava to fill 320,000 Olympic swimming pools and covered an area the size of Manhattan in 80 feet of hardened lava. Most recently, on September 29, 2021, Kalawi began to bubble up and flood lava into the Halamama Mao crater. That is when officials knew an eruption was imminent. While officials said the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic and uncertain, they also noted they would continue to monitor the volcano closely. Officials said that because the eruption was confined to the Halama Omao crater, it did not pose an immediate threat to the public. The real danger is in the high levels of volcanic gas that can have far-reaching effects downwind for the Hawaiian people. People living in the area of Kalawi were warned about exposure to volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide, which can irritate the respiratory system. The powerful effect of the volcanic activity at Kalawi essentially became a tourist attraction as many visitors were drawn by the beauty of the golden volcanic gas that resembled hair strands that were named after Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes. The skin of the bursting bubbles flies out, and some of the skin becomes stretched into these very long threads, some as long as a couple of feet. That is more than half a meter or so, observed Don Swanson, a research geologist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The recent activity at Kalawi is nothing new for the Hawaiian people, as it has erupted 34 times since 1954. USGS scientists say that because the 2018 eruption drained most of Kalawi's magma, the volcano is recharging and minor eruptions like this one should be expected in years to come. It is easy to get caught up in the action of Kalawi. A fascinating natural wonder and we will only continue to see more activity as it displays both mesmerizing images and sometimes dangerous effects for the Hawaiian people. La Palma eruption could trigger mega tsunami that hits the US. While the images volcanoes produce can at times be beautiful, no one should underestimate the amount of power these formations have. A volcano eruption in the Spanish Canary Island of La Palma triggered fears that a mega tsunami could hit the east coast of the United States. The eruption at the Cumbre Vieja volcanic ridge which occurred in September of 2021, forced the evacuation of about 5,000 people from their homes around the area. It has been a while since the Spanish people have seen action from the volcano as the last eruption occurred in 1971. Low-magnitude earthquakes are believed to have triggered the eruption that ignited fear of the possibility of a mega-tsunami affecting the US. The fear likely stemmed from a 2001 scientific study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters that found a link between the eruption of Cumbre Vieja and a mega-tsunami that could strike the US. The authors believed that further eruption of the volcano could compromise the entire structure through their investigations of the volcanic eruptions in 1971 and 1949. The authors thought that what they termed the catastrophic failure of its west flank could drop between 150 to 500 kilometers squared of rock into the sea that would cause tsunami waves that would cross the entire Atlantic Ocean. 
They believed that these tsunami waves could reach the east coast with a height of 33 to 82 feet. Despite their findings, subsequent studies have diminished the threat of a possible tsunami on the east coast due to the volcanic eruption. It has been argued that any collapse of the ridge triggering the force hypothesized in the study is extremely unlikely because flank collapses would happen in stages. What is known, however, is that a collapse would have devastating effects on the people of La Palma. Janine Kripner, a volcanologist at the Global Volcanism Program, reflected, This scenario has been discredited by researchers, but it is rampant right now. Experts are lost in the noise, and people cannot access or trust the facts. We look at extreme scenarios in science to understand the entire spectrum of events, out to what may not be possible. Communicating that is so difficult. South American Volcano Shows Potential Signs of Instability New research has shown that one of South America's most prominent volcanoes has been showing potential signs of instability and collapse. The Black Giant, as it is known locally, is Tungurahua Volcano in Ecuador that has been displaying signs of flank instability, which would result in an enormous landslide. According to new research led by James Hickey from Canborn School of Mines, the volcano's recent activity has led to deformation on the western flank. Researchers say that the effects of this should not be underestimated as it could cause widespread damage to the surrounding local areas if the flank does end up collapsing. They recommend that the volcano should be monitored closely to detect any more substantial signs of a potential collapse. Dr. Hickey explains, Using satellite data, we have observed very rapid deformation of Turingura's west flank, which our research suggests is caused by imbalances between magma being supplied and magma being erupted. Interestingly, Tungurahua has seen frequent activity since 1999, when volcanic activity led to the evacuation of 25,000 people in nearby areas. Another eruption that occurred about 3,000 years ago already caused a partial collapse of the west flank, which has been slowly rebuilt over time. Despite the rebuilding, the new west flank has been showing signs of rapid deformation while the other flanks have remained stable. The deformation is explainable by shallow temporary magma stored beneath the west flank. If this magma supply continues, it can cause stress to build up within the volcanic core, causing instability on the west side that could lead to a collapse. Dr. Hickey adds, Magma supply is one of a number of factors that can cause or contribute to volcanic flank instability. So while there is a risk of possible flank collapse, the uncertainty of these natural systems also means it could remain stable. However, it's definitely one to keep an eye on in the future. This volcano termed the Throat of Fire is nothing to sit still about because although Tungurahua is quite incredible, it is also potentially dangerous. This activity further proves how little control we have over these geological marvels. The recent activity at Kalawi, Cumbrevieja, and Tungurahua are reminders that volcanoes can erupt at any time. While it is essential to be aware of their dangers, it is incredible what we are still discovering about our world, with the latest volcano discoveries only adding to the intrigue. With new technology and better observation techniques, scientists are able to piece together a more complete picture of how our planet works, including the sometimes devastating forces lurking beneath our feet. But what do you make of these volcano discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.